today we are conferring badges of rank to commissioned officers who have been promoted by His Excellency, the President uh, of Zimbabwe, Comrade Idim Nangapa. We have here in, Man in Mashona and Central one chief superintendent uh, to the rank of assistant commissioner. This one was going, was conferred by the commissioner general himself in Harare. So we also have two superintendents who went to chief superintendents. Then six uh, superintendents who have been promoted from ranks of CIS, uh, chief correction officers to superintendent. Then we have also 12 principal correction officers to the rank of chief correction officers. And we also have um, 29 uh, APCO to the rank of principal correction officers in the province today, totaling to 50. 50, yes. So it's a it's a history in the province, having such uh, promotions, and in the in the in, in the service as well. Uh, we want to thank uh, the Commissioner General and the, the teams at PCS uh, for these promotions. Um, here in Mashona Central, we have uh, uh, quite a number of of, of prisons. We have Mazowe. Uh, Prison, which is under Marsh Central. Uh, we also have um, Mount Darwin. We also have Guruwe. And we have Bindura. Bindura has got three satellite prisons. We have Pedna there, we have Chawagona, and we have got Kingston Farm, which we acquired uh, last year. And the, the, project, the, the, the projects that we are doing in Marsh Central uh, I'm not moving well because of uh, so many reasons. Mm -hmm. The first reasons being uh, non availability of funding. Although the government is trying its best, we are going step by step. As the Commissioner General said, we have uh, actually had Chikurubi staff houses which were completed. So they are going province by province. Here we have uh, staff, a shortage of staff accommodation. But as a province, and considering the devolution aspects, we should do it here ourselves. So we are trying to mold bricks. So we have other business uh, people with uh, molding, with brick uh, molding plants here in Mashona Central. We are going to talk to them and we are appealing to them if they are, 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 are willing to partner with us in this devolution agenda so that our officers will first tackle issue of officers' welfare at first. If officers are satisfied, then we know our production is going to be very, very high. We have the Kingston Farm. The Kingston Farm, by the end of the year, uh, I think it's going to be starting building, infrastructure uh, building. Currently, we have managed to put a cell at Kingston's, accommodating 40 inmates which are managing the farm such that this year we had over i think it was over 200 tons of maize that we 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 harvested at kingston so with the command agriculture that came to us as a blight and a, as an enhancement to our, our our agriculture we are taking the government for the, the that program and we are continuing using the command agriculture in this province is national center is the bread basket of zimbabwe so we are also going together with other farmers though we didn't have the the farm implements this year we were given four tractors in the province uh, one combined harvester and also we are having the, the plows uh, the tractors and the plows as well as other small machinery, agricultural machineries. So we are thanking our management for that. Uh, these promotions will enhance, I think, our production because if our officers are motivated and promoted, then the production will also become high. Uh, we also have um, uh, 
our company here that was going to actually help us, that is Chawagona Investments. We are appealing to other government, other um, stakeholders within the province that if we can partner with them, especially the mining partners, our farms here, they also have gold. So we, are, we have managed to secure what we call a prospecting license. So we are yet to acquire uh, the claim, but we are going to use our farms. So such that other mining uh, companies that are here will go to them and appeal to them so that they help us in the exploration process. So that we actually have our own headquarters. Here we are renting at uh, Bindura, uh, GMB, depot uh, at, at a very uh, high high uh, what I can say very high rentals such that if those high rentals are, uh, are given to us we can actually have our own uh, headquarters at Shawagona uh, complex next to Mindura University we also have our officers uh, who are willing to go academically we also invited Bindura, Abuse, others are going there. And they, they are actually, our officers are in the road there. Others are at Ezekiel Guti. And our inmates are having some programs from Abuse. Uh, I heard that they had a um, fishing project, which was done by Abuse, as well as beekeeping, which was also done by Abuse. With the rehabilitation trust that we have, we want more programs for our inmates, such that our age groups, our productive age groups in Mashonan Central who are coming in our prison, in our prisons won't be uh, coming here. They should be having something to do. And it will also increase our GDP if we go that way. I think um, to, 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 to all the stakeholders in Pindura, I say prisons is open for business, as the mantra says. Zimbabwe is open for business. And you are saying as ZPCS, we are open for, for business with them. They can come to us and we can approach them as well, two ways. We are very, very much open because we need to have modern infrastructure for a successful re re rehabilitation of offenders and reintegration of offenders back into society. I think if we have more than uh, uh, premises or habitable prisons, because Bindura is a colonial prison. I don't know which year most of our um, comrades were incarcerated there during the colonial era. Up to now, uh, the, 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 the prisons then is very, very old. I think Kingston's is. I have said it's going to be built this year, that one is going to be the state of the art, the modern prison here, such that Bindura will remain a, a Roman prison. The government department, government is the, uh, 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 our, our main supplier of the resources that we have. So the resources are never, never, uh, we can say, abandoned, they are always scarce. So we, are, we were having a problem of scarce resources. For example, a, a, a court truck to ferry prisoners to, to, to the court, we are using an open truck, which is not suitable for our remand inmates. So at times we, we ask our stakeholders, other government departments with big vehicles to carry our inmates to court. So I think with the support that the government is now getting, giving us as an organization will manage. But we are also appealing to the stakeholders that Bindura, for them to, to, to farm is this or mine easily, they should be security of property. So us, we are there to protect, protect the society through incarceration of criminals. So if we come together and try to build a secure prisons, or have the offenders rehabilitated properly, I think Bindumash Central will be the best habitable province. So these sanctions, actually, we have some other projects that we are having here in Mashonan Central. Uh, a good example is the, the fishing project that we started at Murue. Uh, we couldn't uh, take it further 
because we didn't have funds. So it's on its initial stage. We also have a brick uh, molding uh, project in each of the prison that we are doing, but it's going uh, very slow because we don't have um, firewood. It's now very scarce. And the EMA, that the Environmental Management Authorities, are not permitting us to have firewood willy-nilly. So we want to build a state of modern prison or to have a brick modern machinery for the inmates so that they will know how to mold bricks when they go outside to be business for them.